to talk to you as openly as I can, but my heart is empty. The emptiness, it's a, it's a mirror turned towards my own face, and I see myself in it, and I'm filled with fear and disgust. Through my indifference to my fellow men, I've isolated myself from their company. Now I live in a world of phantoms. I am imprisoned in my dreams and fantasies. And yet you don't want to die? Yes, I do. What are you waiting for? I want knowledge. You want guarantee? Call it whatever you like. It is so cruelly inconceivable to grasp God with the senses. Why should he hide himself in a mist of half-spoken promises and unseen miracles? How can we have faith in those who believe when we can't have faith in ourselves? What is going to happen to those of us who want to believe but aren't able to? And what is to become of those who neither want to nor are capable of believing in the first place? You know, why can't I kill God within me? Why does he live on this painful and humiliating way even though I curse him and want to tear him out of my heart? Why, in spite of everything, is he a baffling reality that I can't shake off? Do you hear me? Yes, I hear you. I want knowledge, not faith, not suppositions, but knowledge. I want God to stretch out his hand toward me and reveal himself and speak to me. But he remains silent. You've tricked and cheated me, but we'll meet again and I'll find a way. We'll meet at the end, and there we'll continue playing. This is my hand. I can move it, feel the blood pulsating through it. The sun is still high in the sky, and I, Antonius Block, am playing chess with death.